Hello. Today we will be showing you how you can launch our Studio Workbench, how you can download files into our Studio Workbench and work with the files that are located in your RAP project, and how you can save your work back to the RAP and terminate our Studio Workbench. When you are logging into your RAP platform, you can go to the tools and then select our Studio. There, you can see new RStudio button, which can help you to configure your RStudio Workbench launch. You can change environment name. You need to select project from which files will, will be available during your RStudio session. This will be this project for me. Priority is defaultly set to high, and you can select instance type. Please note that uh, RStudio uh, launch dialog doesn't have default time. That means that after you are done with your work and you save results, you need to terminate our studio workbench. You can then click on start environment and you see that now your um, job is in initializing status. Launching our studio workbench could take some time, a few moments. When it will be launched, you will see status as ready and the link will appear that will open our studio session dialog in the new tab. In order to create a new session, click on new session and then click on start session. We can now work in our studio. Let us start working first in the terminal. We can start by downloading repository from GitHub. We'll be using our public repository, ukb underscore wrap. When a repository is downloaded, you will see it in the instance storage. So here you can see ukb underscore wrap folder. And we will be working with our studio demo folder materials. If you want to upload the folder to the RAP project, you need to use command line utility from the DX toolkit, which is called DX upload. And we'll be using parameter R as a recursive because we will be uploading the whole folder. After your folder is uploaded, you will see it in your project storage. Now let us work with R Markdown. We'll open our R Markdown file and we'll set our working directory to the source file location. So uh, for this, uh, for working with um, files from project and saving to project, we'll be working with a set of command line functions from the X toolkit. And in order to call them in our R code, we'll be using system function. So this, um, this line actually looks at the showcase metadata folder and lists files that are contained there. So let's try. These are the different files that are located in this folder. For this example, we'll be using field.tsv, which has descriptions of fields available. You can access these files using two different ways. The first way is using dxfuse, when you are not actually downloading this file into your instance storage, but you're accessing it directly from the project storage. In order to do that, you need to use slash mnt slash project before your file pass. So this line actually creates a data frame which has a field TSV in it. You can see it here, field underscore data too. And we can look at this table. Second way how to do that is to download your um, file directly to the instance storage. For that, we'll be using function DX download.
And you will now see that file field.tsv is downloaded into our instance storage. We can then read it into the memory and look at it. We can also upload files to the project. Let us do that by saving our field underscore data to as a CSV file. Now you see that in the instance storage, we have a new file updated underscore field underscore data dot CSV. And we would like to upload this file to the project storage. For that, we'll be using DX upload. And as I said before, we're using system function to wrap our command line code in R. Now our file is uploaded into the project storage. We can look at it here. Here's our CSV that was uploaded. We can also upload our R markdown itself. And now you see that the R markdown is uploaded here. In our GitHub repository, we have R code that, is, that contains helpful functions for saving and uploading your work. So the render function from R markdown library renders your R markdown into HTML file. Let me try it. Now you see that the HTML file is newly generated. We can upload it to our project. And now you can see that we have HTML file here. Here it is uploaded. We can also upload our R markdown file. If you want to learn more about how to use DX Toolkit in command line, I advise you to look at our documentation at dnanexus.gitbook.io, and here you will find accessing and using the command line interface. Once you're done with your work and you want to terminate our studio workbench, you can click on the terminate button and terminate your R Studio workbench session. We hope that this brief introduction into working with our Studio Workbench on RAP will get you started. Please watch community.dnnaccess.com for answers on your questions.